Your first meeting with the macaque chief occurs right after the frost-clad path shrine, followed by a second encounter at the warding temple. After these initial battles, he makes a hasty retreat, setting the stage for future confrontations. In this video, you can witness the first two skirmishes. Many of his attacks are imbued with frost, which can fill your status bar and severely limit your mobility, making it difficult to evade his strikes. He wields his blade with impressive agility, spinning it around to deliver two rapid slice attacks. Often, he balances the blade on his foot before executing a final upward slash while performing a backflip, launching another projectile slash. One of his most formidable moves involves leaping into the air and crashing his blade down, followed by a flurry of swift claw swipes that have an unexpectedly long reach, all while he remains close to his blade, limiting his ability to pivot if you choose to dodge and counter from the sides. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on Black Myth Wukong and other exciting games. <laughs>
Hold it, my friend. Sit with me a while. Dark furred, devious natured, hunting that guai is no simple task. You do have some skills, but this land bites with cold. Lack of readiness could be your undoing. Our reunion is destined. And so is my role to teach you this little trick. Ah, I am extraordinary. As is my flame, it shall help you in need. Need injury, weariness, or frostbite. Beast or Yaogwai, none shall dare to draw nigh. 